is up, Humanoid Nation? So, today we got a reaction going on. Two, James reacts, reacting to the Power Rangers bootleg version movie that was, like, banned from Saban a while back because it was too dark and gritty and it wasn't, it didn't show good light towards Saban. He didn't like it. Anyways, I saw that movie. If you call it a movie. Short film. Yeah, short film. I already saw it. Fucking amazing because I'm a Power Rangers fan. Yeah, I'm a Power Rangers fan. It's like you can't tell them. Fuck, I got my picture with fucking David Yost and Walter White of all... Did I just say Walter White? Walter Jones of all people. And I have my own fucking second channel, Human or Rain... Human or... <laughs> this is how much I like Power Rangers because it's fucking me up with his words. Humanoid Ranger, where I just solely dedicate that challenge just for Power Rangers. Cheap plug. But anyways, this is James React, reacting to it. So, full screen this. Let's start this reaction. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to James Reacts. And on this episode, I'm going to do a re-reaction to a video you, that bro. I so love. But haven't seen in a long time since it debuted this February. No, uh, James. This, and that was long before. We're gonna have some good reactions to that. Is the Power Rangers Especially when Skull just uh, butt fucks or, everybody. I'm sorry, more like they call Power just Rangers reboot, but they had to change it around to keep copyright from from their company. Uh, this is just now called Power Rangers Unauthorized Bootleg Universe. So, uh, but I'm I gotta get into that. Video is one of my favorite. Oh, stuff, it's a re-reaction. Uh, never mind. I like how it was very adult. But I never saw his sure. reaction. So um, this is brand new. Something to me. that you know was kind of meant for me because I was a fan growing up watching Mighty Morphin Power Rangers when I was a boy. You my boy, um, James. So, you my boy. And I know that there was a mixed response from some fans. Some that liked it. Some say, "Nah, this is for kids." Yeah, you can't some make an adult like people. Lots of friends like, "Fuck my so childhood, guys!" Other people were like, "Yeah!" Again, yeah. I was like the party. People that were saying, yeah, we need this. This movie, my god. I find it funny James Vanderbeek is in this too. It reminds me of Starship Troopers in Tokyo. I forgot there was a Megazord in the fight there. I completely forgot about that. When two empires declare war, neither side is innocent. You're still a traitor, you worthless piece. We were children asked to fight an intergalactic war against an enemy we never met. Let's stop pretending our side stood on some moral high ground. What do you want, Rocky? You know they should have said Rocky's name twice or three times because. The first time I saw this, I didn't know Rocky was in this. The character of Rocky. And then Johnny R. Rock said, like, hey, I like how they had Rocky as a bad guy. And I was thinking, what the fuck? I had to rewatch it. Still couldn't see it. It took me four times to figure out that they said Rocky in the beginning because they sing it so silently. And James Vanderbeek is Rocky. Bullshit is an ugly color. Kind of, can just imagine Dawson's Creek up in this, being an evil Rocky. Dying is what you choose to do here today. I would prefer you did it with your dignity intact. How soon after the truce did you turn? Did you even wait until we were disbanded? The second the machine empire integrated their technology in our society, we had the freedom we would have oh. done. So it's loud enough. It's not that bad. I followed the only rule worth following in this fuckster. I made sure I was on the winning side, which is why I'm sitting here in the chain. By the way, Rocky, how's your back after breaking it, almost breaking it in the Turbo movie? Did they make a machine spine for you too? The thought that weaponizing youth and training them. We want answers, man. Answers. We were a team. We fought for each other. You never understood that. James is so into the, the the scene here. What about him? You were married to him, weren't you? For eight hours. This 
Skull! No, not yet. Fuck. Shit. That's an intention. Shit. Got a little tired of me. Skull. Even he's a skull. Hey, that's what happens when you make fun of Skull all this time. He gets traumatized. That was all. I wonder what happened to Bulk, though. You know what happens to a dog that chases cars and finally catches one? It doesn't belong to the dog. What if we bought the shall we? Good kid. Fit. Little hyperactive. I see uh, Zach has moved on from. Uh, What's that bitch's name? That gold bitch. Angela. He's moved on from Angela. Yeah, I got mail. I always forget to turn off my notification on my sound volume. Or put it on vibrate whenever I do this. Fat kids was enough to scratch that itch for. Did you know he joined the machine empire? Didn't even have to recruit him. You're so hungry for a battlefield, you volunteered to help us sweep up whatever resistance was left. Hip Cup Keto, bro. The subtitles in this shit is weird as hell. Am I the only one that thinks that? I don't want to go to the peace conference. Sensitize and the blood of the baby. I'm that sick. Boom. Oh, yeah. Boom. Good shot. No, not yet. Never mind. Game's getting down. Just like that. Oh, I just noticed that too. Dun, 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 dun. I never noticed that before. Then there's this rare few. You don't feel them alive unless they are to stand completely against them. I know you get me. It's all good. Any any second now. Get off then. Headshot. It's tough. Seeing your friends murdered one by one. Especially if I want you. What the fuck are you talking about? Think about it. Rita made Tommy to fight against us. And he betrayed her, switched sides, and Tommy tried to kill him. He lost his power, he went back, lost him, and he's just fucking tree sign. Gains it back, gets more powers <laughs> over and over and over. Say what you want about the machines, at least they're consistent. What does this have to do with me? Tommy's always been. That shield, though. I don't like that shield that they made in here. It looks really Yesterday, not Tommy that good. But don't worry. I think we all know it's unlikely you fucked him, too. Our alliance with the Machine Empire will bring a new level of synergy with the Prince and Lockheed Martin. 
I like how they uh, they got David Yost's character Billy to be gay as well, since David Yost came out as gay. That's a nice touch to this. And for those of you who don't know, yes, David Yost is gay, and he's still badass. You're out of your mind. Tommy didn't kill any of us. He's a ranger. You just forgot. What do you just because you're a ranger doesn't mean you're. Or a good one. Duh, we the wait, this is not the <laughs> <this is, laughs> <this is, this laughs> A squad Power Rangers. Put your shit together they and start thinking for yourself. For once in your life, you're not a little girl anymore. Now, where's Tommy? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> you think you're defending something worthwhile? I get the technology, the machines. Dawson Creek is getting some horniness in him. I told you I haven't seen Thomas. <laughs> One last warning. Every move we make makes a feel Dreams. Beautiful. Well, and of course, Boy Trang is dead, so yeah, they have to we have a character be dead in this. Well, they're all dying, so I'm just saying. It's been years. You're telling the truth. Machines are never wrong. They told us exactly what you'd know. just don't get it, do you? I never needed you as a witness. You, my dear, are bait. No, Robbie, you're bait. Tommy's here. Tommy's mad. Don't fuck with Tommy. Dawson's Creek got the moves. Jesus is getting into it. Fuck, I'm doing the same thing. I just realized that. Kimberly doesn't kill people. You're not. She likes to woo a lot. Go back and watch Power Rangers. She says a lot of woos. Woo! Not like Flair wise, but get to know you. Who are you? I got such a headache. The one who turned you into a major in the first place. This needs a sequel. This fucking needs a sequel. I killed the world. Another world. It's ours. Where you at? Damn, James. You know everything. Never get tired of this You video. know every scene. That's amazing. Oh, classic. Indeed. And definitely something for, you know, the, the Corona Power Rangers fans oh, yeah. who, you know, who have grown up and have matured. This is definitely for them, if they're willing to accept it, of course. I accept it. Can't wait for the oh, movie coming out. Yeah, so... I'd say they should make a sequel, but then again, yeah. I don't know how they would, because Tommy's now the only ranger left. We got other rangers. Are dead. That's the There's sad. other rangers. That's the sad part. You can bring in the other ones. I mean, I kind like of big ranger battle. Rangers to be dead because 
it kind of takes away the the drama of it. But you know what? Never say never. There could be a chance that what's his name, Joseph Cohen, the director, might do one. I'd like to see Dido from but the Rangers so team up with Tommy to here, get rid so of Rita, and then when everybody else that. shows up from every other season. Oh well. And of course, um, I am friends with several of the original Power Rangers on their Facebook. I catch up on their daily page to see, you know, what they're up to, and I know that some of them had mixed feelings about this film. Uh, Jason David so Frank was the only one who didn't like it, of course, because he had problems the for, uh, the Green Ranger, Jason, I know he didn't like it, but I think the ones for the Pink Ranger, Black Ranger, and Red Ranger, uh, I, I think they liked it. Jason David Frank didn't well, like it because, like, uh, it's not what Saban would say, want. Really, but... JDF. I like Tommy, but I JDF is just it. pissing me off lately. He's pissing me off a lot of fans lately. Because of his ego. That's just me, though. I'm just saying. Where is the soundtrack for this video? I mean, jeez. That is great music there. I like the remix of the original My Morphin. Remix! Thing. It's kind of cool to crank it up a notch. Oh, man. Love it a lot. So, uh, yep. Yeah, that's about it. Ugh. Well, folks, there you have it. That is my re-reaction to Power Rangers. Still a good um, reaction. I know I am very, very late at reacting this video, but you have to remember, I did not become a video reactor until May of this year. Uh, so uh, I I still got more uh, yeah, but when that re reactions in short the works, film came out, I saw it right away. Plan ahead of time that I will it's one of those things where you just have to watch it straight away. So stay tuned. But thank you, of course, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, and as always, Remember to check out my other videos, subscribe to my channel, and please take care. Yeah, like he said, check out his other videos, because he's an awesome reactor. Ha! Huh. The When he gets surprised, he gets surprised. Go watch his pig lady reaction. That guy. <laughs> oh, and do man barks like a dog on the news. Also classic. But yeah, go ahead and subscribe to James React. He's an awesome guy. Uh, and... Power Rangers, what can I say? I love that shit. No matter what. I grew up with that shit. It's like I grew up with like loving it, but then there was a time where like it wasn't acceptable to like Power Rangers because they're thinking looking at you like what the fuck's wrong with you? But this was before the geek culture got accepted. Cause there was a time before if you're a geek, people make fun of you and shit. The nineties was not fun. It was fun, but it was not fun at the same time. So yeah, I stopped watching Power Rangers during the In Space era when like the Solar Rangers showed up. Because I thought, man, I'm getting too old for this. I shouldn't be watching this. And then a bunch of other seasons comes along. And I go like, you know... And then the geek culture says like, oh, it's okay to like this stuff. And I'm like, oh, finally. Which I didn't want to... It was like, I love this stuff anyway. So I started watching the season after season after season. And the ones I missed, like Wild Force... SPD, it's fucking amazing, holy shit. And I'm not the only one that loves Power Rangers as an adult, like Linkara, uh, Database Ranger, uh, Adam Perez, a whole bunch, Lunda Girl, check their ch channels out, Black Nerd Comedy, Andrew Meadows, yeah, a bunch of people, ch check out all their channels. Because now the geek culture is accepted and well. It's like, you like Power Rangers, you like Power Rangers. Some people are going to say, hey, what's wrong with you for liking the kid show? Whatever. That's their beef. But anyways, that's it for now, and I can't wait for the reboot movie to come out. That's going to be insane. Was Elizabeth Banks and Rita Repulsa. Now that I think about it, because at first I wasn't into Elizabeth Banks being a Rita Repulsa because of the Asian thing, but then I remembered it's based in Super Sentai. Everybody was Asian, so yeah, i got to stop thinking that. <laughs> The mindset, man. The mindset. But yeah, Elizabeth Banks, she could pull it off. I want to know who plays Goldar. That's who I want to know. Who's going to play Goldar. And for those of you who are saying, like, where the fuck is the Green Ranger? Sequel. Because all of you Green Ranger fans who just want the Green Rangers or just 
don't know that the Green Rangers did not show up until later on in the season. If we're focusing on the five original OGs. He may show up at the end for a cameo to set up for a sequel bait. Because that's how it is. Wait for the sequel to introduce the Green Ranger. You can't introduce the Green Ranger right away. That'd be stupid. Anyways, I'm talking way too much. But damn, that's how I am with Power Rangers. I talk on end and end and end and end and end. I'm going to shut up now. Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye. Divina Sin.